Welcome to this spoken tutorial on installation of Koha on Ubuntu Linux OS. In this tutorial, we will learn to install Koha Library Management System on Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04 and cross verify the installation. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04. Koha version 16.05, gedit text editor, and Firefox web browser. Before you start, please ensure that your machine has Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, any text editor, either Firefox or Google Chrome web browser. The minimum hardware requirements are i3 processor or above, 500 GB hard disk or more, minimum 4 GB RAM, and network facility. The commands used in this tutorial are available in the code files link below the player. I have opened this file in gedit text editor on my machine and I will use the same file to copy paste the commands during the demonstration. Let's begin. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. We have to first of all ensure that our Ubuntu Linux installation is up to date. For that, copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal. And press Enter. From now on, type the system password whenever prompted during this installation and press enter. This command will create a file named koha.list and update the package repository. Please note, koha 16.05 was the stable version at the time of creation of this tutorial. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. Then this will download gpg.ase file and update the signature key. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. Now. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. This will update the new repositories. Now type sudo apt-get install koha-common and press enter. Press Y when asked if you want to continue and press enter. This will install Koha on your system. Wait for the installation to complete. This will take some time. Now we have to open the conf file in a text editor to change the port number for Koha. I will use gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. The file opens in the text editor. Locate the line that says intra port equal to 80. Change 80 to 8080. This will change the port number to 8080. Then save and close the file. Come back to the terminal. Now we have to set up the database. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. Press Y when asked if you want to continue and press enter. 
Next, set the password for root user as admin123 for the database. You could give a different password if you wish. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. Next, copy these two commands one by one, paste them on the terminal and press enter. sudo a2 en mode rewrite sudo a2 en mode cgi This will enable the modules of Koha. Then type sudo service apache2 restart. This will restart apache services. Then press enter. To create a Koha instance named library, copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. Next, we have to tell Apache server that we are using port 8080. For that, we have to open the ports.conf file in a text editor. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. In the ports.conf file, Search for the line listen80. Next to that line, add listen8080. Then save and close the file. Then restart Apache services. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. Next, Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. This is to disable the 000-default site. The message confirms that it is disabled. Let's move on. Copy these two commands one by one, paste them on the terminal and press enter sudo a2 n mode deflate and press enter sudo a2 n site library and press enter the message on the terminal confirms that the site library is enabled Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal and press enter. Then type sudo su and press enter. We are now in the super user that is root user mode. Copy this command from the code file and paste it in the terminal. Press enter. Type the password when prompted. Admin123 and press enter. We are now inside our MariaDB prompt. Add the MariaDB prompt. Type use MySQL semicolon and press enter. This is to tell MariaDB to use MySQL database. The message displayed on the terminal says, Database changed. Notice that the MariaDB prompt says, MySQL. Now type the following command carefully as shown. And press enter. This will set the password for the user, Koha underscore library, as Koha123. We see a message on the terminal that says query OK. Next type flush privileges semicolon and press enter. This will update the latest changes.
Once again, we see a message on the terminal that says query OK. Lastly, type quit semicolon and press enter to exit from MariaDB. We are now back in the root user prompt. We will now open the koha-conf.xml file in a text editor. I will be doing so using gedit text editor. In this file, search for the keyword MySQL. Scroll down and locate this line. Replace the alphanumeric value with Koha123. Recall that this is the password we had set for our database earlier via the terminal. Save the file and close the editor window. Now open any web browser. I will be opening Firefox web browser. In the address bar, type 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 and press enter. The Koha web installer page appears on the browser. To log in, Use the credentials we set earlier. I will type username as Koha underscore library and password as Koha123. If you had given a different username and password, then type that in. Now click on the login button at the bottom right. We are in step 1 of Koha web installer. In the language drop-down, select EN for English if it's not already selected by default. Now click on the next button at the bottom right. The window now displays two messages. The messages confirm that all Perl modules and all dependencies are installed. Click on the next button at the bottom right. We are now in step 2. Database settings. Notice here all the values are what we gave earlier. Then click on the next button at the bottom. On doing so, we see a message that says connection established. This is followed by two more confirmation messages. Click on the next button at the bottom. We are brought to step 3. Read what is displayed on the screen and then click on the next button. Soon we will see a success message on our screen. This confirms that our database tables are created. Now click on the next button at the bottom to continue. Immediately we are brought to this screen. Read the displayed text and then click on the link Install Basic Configuration Settings. On doing so, we are asked to select our mark flavor. I am going to select mark 21. Then click on the next button at the bottom. In the screen, scroll down to the section mandatory. Here, we see that the default mark 21 checkboxes are selected. Under optional section, select all the options as shown. As we scroll down, we see that under other data, all the checkboxes are already selected. Keep scrolling to the bottom of the page. There is one more optional section below, which is very long. Here, locate the option, some basic currencies and select it. After this, select the option, useful patron attribute types. Now go to the bottom of the page and click on the Import button. This will enable all the selected functionalities in Koha. We are now brought to a new page. Scroll down this page and read all the text displayed on the screen. We can see a success message, All done. Now click on the Finish button. 
we see the final message on our screen which confirms that our installation is successful. We will now be moved to the Koha interface. Type the username as Koha underscore library and password as Koha123. Select My Library from the drop down. Then click on Login button. We are brought to the Koha administration page. We can see various tabs on this page. We will learn how to use many of these later in the series. Now click on No Library Set and select the Logout option. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to install Koha Library Management System on Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04 and cross-verify the installation. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Post your time queries in this forum. Spoken tutorial project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This script has been contributed by Nancy and the video by Praveen. And this is Nancy Verki from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.